What's up guys? So today we're going to test the Valix Racing uh, intake manifold that they are, it's not released yet, but they're going to be releasing it soon. Um, we're going to be doing the dyno testing on it. So we just did um, the tune with the RVC and now we're going to switch over to their manifold. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to install and then uh, we'll see the results on the dyno. So let's uh, get started. So this is a K20, we got the RBC off, about to put their manifold on. Um, I just have everything thrown off, so it's a quick, easy change. This is their manifold. So it's a lot like the Skunk 2 from what I'm seeing so far. Um, we'll just uh, put it on there, the porting looks super nice. Clipped already, all the runners look nice. So overall it looks like a super nice manifold, so hopefully everything works out, but let's see what it does. Alright, so we're in here tuning. We just finished up uh, doing the tuning with Rick from Haltech. Um, this manifold made a way big difference in the RBC. Literally the first pull I did, it instantly made power and we didn't change anything. Nothing on the tuners changed, I just put it on and we already picked up like 8 horsepower I believe. Um, actually no, the first one it picked up, yeah yeah, 8 horsepower on the first pull. Um, after tuning it, we actually needed a little bit more fuel. After getting the fuel in, we made an extra 10 horsepower on this manifold, which I was not expecting that um, versus my RBC. My RBC made 223, and I just made 233 with 170 torque. My engine is a bone stock K20, just obviously the bolt-ons, but the internal of the motor is 100% stock K20 and uh, I'm amazed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the graphs and uh, this manifold is proven. So definitely recommend. Um, you can pick it up from valxracing.com or you can call me, I can get you one. Uh, I'll probably have them in stock. So yeah, but here's the graph. Of course. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 